but they they can do that kind of split blocking posture. Uh, and and we'll see how the match proceeds. We're underway with our gold medal final in Kushidase. And we're underway with an uncharacteristic error. Leans back and uncorks one. And the option ball taken. They have done their homework, the Aussies. McHugh was waiting for it. Just kind of from a game management standpoint, you know, it's interesting to see how, how frequently this type of stuff happens when you kind of make a mistake on a chance to score a real point on your own side. Find out about these athletes. Follow the stories. In the volleyball world. Oh, wow. And get to watch that spike again and again and again. Look at this for a moment. He's just put the super in spike. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. They're doing all kinds of good stuff, as are the Aussies, to be fair. But a few mistakes on the side of the Swedes are, are really what account for their deficit. But they've got a little matter of trying to sort out this gold medal match against the two young Swedes. Oh, what a block. What a block. And they are back in business. And just like that, set point arrives for the two Aussies. The number three seeds going well. Not the best set from Helvig, but what a snap from David Orman under pressure. In a situation like that where the set's not perfect, they still have you on your heels. Aussies, though, have a swing for the set. And Burnett goes round on the reverse and puts it away nicely. Helvig puts his in. That dipped on Burnett a little bit. And what a recovery and what a swing. Yeah, the three H's. Oh, block from McHugh. And that is of the monster block variety. Pretty even in the second set so far. And the trading points ends with an ace from Paul Burnett. Goes again, same angle. Orman is struggling a little bit with his pass tonight. McHugh just dipping out of the block there, so... You again being tested, so they're going back to the veteran, and he's bounced one out of the stadium. Their fitness regime must be terrifying. So back to Helvig. He goes right over the top. Again, classic blockers look, turns around to see why the defender wasn't there. From the middle, straight into the block, and McHugh's getting a bit of a working over here at the moment, and it's giving Sweden... as kind of immediate as the monster block or the super spike and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely, and if you get off the sand and scream the ball out into the crowd without winning the point, then... If you, uh, if you didn't have a chance to participate in a Klagenfurt event, uh, I feel sorry for you. I mean, those were probably the best thing ever in the history of the sport. A beach volleyball. It was insane. It really was. Burnett goes back to his float serve. And again, that quick offense from Sweden just seems to go cl too close to the McHugh block. They get a reuse and get the ball put away, but. Uh, Sharif and Tijan, all these teams that are so consistent. Nice. Yeah, the former Manchester United soccer manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, used to call it. Australia now must surely be feeling confident. They've hung in there in this set. They've got the marginal lead and it could get better here. No. Helvig not going to let that happen. McHugh straight into the block. Helvig, though, still good enough to finish it. 14 all. End switch in this race to 21. And I have to say, Paul Burnett is playing some super beach volleyball at the moment. Still, they go after Burnett. This time, Oman is on him. 
quick offence doesn't work once more. Helvig has to go. Oh, what a touch. Genius from Burnett. And terrible set. Drifts over the net and gifts Australia the point. Sweden must side out. <laughs> Cheeky. Change of arm. Change of luck. It all counts. Took McHugh out of the block there. Good footwork from McHugh to get himself ready to hit that ball again. Oh, great stuff. Orman is all over the court at the moment. Doesn't get the best return from Helvig. So Australia still have a chance. Not taken first time. And not taken second time. And there's that element to Paul Burnett's game that sometimes comes in. Do you think modern... it's an anomaly, or do you think that we just have trouble letting go? <laughs> I think the latter. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to the modern generation. Shows their class, though, finding a way to grind it out. They have the mini break. So if they keep siding out, they're good to win this set. They're going to need a bit of luck here, Sweden. And, well, they get some luck, but that was more skill than anything. Another super block from Helvig. They hold on to that break. It's tight. It might get better. It does get better. The ball drifts onto the tape, and Helvig just gobbles it up. What I love about this effort at the net from Jonathan Helvig is we've seen him have some kind of a shaky setting in some instances in this set, but he's really making up for it at the net. No, nope. just shanks it towards the tape. One kill in the next two balls and we're going to the 15-point shootout. Tremendous, unbelievable beach volleyball to finish that set off. The conditions have not been a factor in the final matches. Option ball taken, that's uh, one hell of a swing. From Chris McHugh now, how much gas has he got left in the tank? Enough to drill a serve at Orman. Well controlled though by David Orman. And then another super hit. He's starting to open up some angles here and he's getting Paul Burnett stranded. Then that's their chance, but as long as they don't, Australia looking to put this away. Off pace this time. Orman just rolls it. In the contact on defense to control it. Tight. Relies on the bounce off the net and gets lucky. The finish was good. You've seen so many of his shots rattle off the hands, which is a testament to how high he's able to hit that ball. Good commitment to the shot down the line. Understandably, they go straight after McHugh again, and this time it's Paul Burnett that plays the supporting role. A long way off, 15 points, but that's enough to win this final. Can they hold it? Oh, superb. Absolutely superb. Youth Olympic champions, European under 18, under 20, and under 22 champions, and under 21 world champions, the Swedish pair. Now looking to add a senior World Tour title. A tight pass, but they turn a potential disadvantage into a, an absolute advantage. Helvig reads the second ball swing from Burnett, but he continues to play solidly. Making the right decisions up at the net blocking. He's not biting on the, the jump set fake very often. And he's still turning that ball down the line. Pick yourself if you're Sweden for falling victim to that. Just goes in court. Ormond with the jump set to Helvig. Again, McHugh is good. And gets across fast to that next ball. Sweden will be delighted with the fact that they are still causing all sorts of bother on the world tour. Got to side it. They do. And there's that option attack that was available because Helvig knew McHugh wasn't going to commit. What a critical time to make such a, quite frankly, a risky play. But it's not risky to them, it's just what they do. Two championship points and taken. First time of asking.
And after a very, very tricky start to this final, Sweden prove once again that they have maturity beyond their years. And the two 20-year-olds push their way past this Australian side.